Hello all, welcome to part nine of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate generating basic extent report, okay, which doesn't contain any results of any automation scripts, okay? So first I am going to show you a basic extent report which doesn't contain the results of any automation scripts execution. Okay, and we are going to use one of the reporter that is known as Spark Reporter. So let's get started. Okay, we're just getting started with this basic extent report, guys, in the generating this basic extent report from the project. So generating a basic extent report without the results of any execution of automation tests using the Spark Reporter. If you remember in the previous session, I covered and shown you the different reporters that are supported by extent reports. What are the different reports that are supported by extent reports? In the previous session, I showed you, okay, on the official website of extent reports, okay, when we go to this page, you can see there are different reports that are supported by extent reports, okay? Reporters supported by extent reports. Just click on the getting started on this link. Go to the reporters. You see, there, there we have extent spark reporter as one of the reporter type. We can also use extent event event reporter, then we can also use extend email reporter and extend flow reporter. And out of these four reporter types, okay, reporters types, the second and third one are premium guys, okay, you have to pay the license amount, okay, but we are not paying any license amount, we are using a free version of uh, free version of extend reports. So we have two options left, that is extend, extend spark reporter and extend uh, flow reporter. So everyone in the market uses extend spark reporter. So we are going to stick to this. Okay, how to work with this extend spark reporter? Okay, as I already told you, this extend spark reporter, okay, need to be attached to the engine. Okay, so mainly we have extend reports class, predefined class in extend report. Okay, extend reports library, we have this extent reports as a predefined class. This class, when you create an object, this object will work like an engine. To this engine, you will attach one of the reporters that are available here, okay? I can go with extent spark reporter or any other type of reporters. For now, as I mentioned, you're going to go with the extent spark reporter. So I'm going to create an object for this extent spark reporter, okay? So let's write down here. Already this project is configured with the extent reporters reports library. Okay, extent reports library. So you uh, you don't have to worry much. Okay, so in the previous sessions only we have already configured this project with extent reports. You see extent reports library. So so simple is uh, already we have created an object for the extent reports which will act as an engine. To this engine we have to attach one of the reporters. That is we are going to attach this extent. Spark reporter. Okay, let's create an object for extend spark reporter. Okay, I'll say spark reporter. Okay, spark reporter is equal to new extend spark reporter. Okay, like this, you just create an object for this extend spark reporter. Hold the mouse and just import this from extend reports library. Okay, now. You see, this constructor cannot be empty, guys, okay? We have to provide the path where we have to generate or create the report under this project where you want to create the report. For that, guys, uh, just to make the things easy, instead of complicating this uh, thing here, I'm going to create something like this. File, file is equal to new file of, like this, I'll say. Here, first I'll say system dot get property user dot dir, okay? Here I'll say. Inside this get properties, I'll say user.dir. This will get the project pathways, okay? One minute, uh, there's something mistake here. System.get property, not properties, property. Inside that, we have to give double quotes and mention user.dir, okay? So this will give you the path of the project, okay? Over the mode on this file and import this file from java.io package and say plus. Click on plus. Now give double quotes. After getting the project path, then give double backward slash under the project path where you want to generate the report. 
under the project, I want to create a folder. Okay, let's say extend reports like that one folder name I want to create. Okay, and under that folder, with what name I want to generate the report? Uh, let's say report dot HTML. I want to give the name of the report as otherwise e report. I'll say okay, e report extend report dot HTML like this. This is the name of the report. This extension of the report will be in the form of HTML file. And this is the folder under the project where this report will be created. Okay. Now, so this file, I'll pass it here. Simple. Okay. Done. Now, the thing here is, now the thing here is, did we create any automation scripts or any automation tests? Did we create? No, right? So that means a blank report should be generated a blank extent report should be generated okay let's run this code and see this is the main method only right let's run this code and see whether a blank report known as uh, e report.html is getting created under extent reports folder under this project or not let's see okay so let's run this code right click run as java application but the thing is it will not be generated Okay, it will not be generated, guys. The report blank report will not be generated here. So I have run the code. Now refresh the project once. Refresh the project once. You see, extent reports folder is created. Okay, extent reports folder is created under that e report.html is not created. You see, e report.html is not created. Though the extent reports folder is created now, but e reports folder is not created. e report.html file is not created with the blank extent report is not coming okay with with this spark reporter so what is the problem there are few more steps that you have to do guys okay first of all using this extent copy this extent and say dot attach reporter there's a method for this extent reports class known as attach reporter where we have to attach this spark reporter to this extent report okay yes extent reporter uh, reports uh, class is the engine whereas spark reporter is one of the reporter type that can work with this uh, extent reports okay either it can be event reporter or spark reporter or whatever it is we have to attach this type of reporter to the extent reports okay still if you run this it will not be generated okay you see even after attaching this spark reporter to the extent report also it will not work run this you see the same old story will be there after running you just refresh the project once you see still the same extent reports folder is coming but under that the uh, e report.html file is not coming the reason why that uh, e report.html file is not coming here is you see when you want to generate a report okay finally you are done writing the whatever the code and finally you want to generate a report with the given details you have to finally say extent dot flush if you don't flush the report will not be generated okay at the end after all the story is completed okay after all the things regarding the extent report is completed finally you have to say extend dot flush okay so what i will do here is i'll run this code and it got run now refresh this project this time, guys, you see under extent reports, a e report.html because without this line, this e report.html will not come. Okay. Before flushing, you have to attach the Spark reporter to the extent reports and then flush. Okay. So this is a process, guys. Okay. So let's open this e report.html, open with the browser, it will open here. It is a blank report, guys. Okay. We have not created any tests here. Okay. You see under the test, there are nothing here. Okay, there is nothing here under the test because here we have written the code only for generating a blank report. Okay, nowhere the results of the automation test or whatever that is are mentioned in this report, right? How to mention that? How to mention different tests here in the report? How to mention different tests in the report and the results in the extent report that I am going to cover in the next session, okay? So here in the current session, 
I generated a basic extent report which looks blank, blank like this. You see, there is nothing here. No tests. You see, zero test pass, zero test fail. There are no tests. There are zero tests here. It's just a blank extent report created, guys. Okay, without any execution results of the automation tests using Spark Reporter. We have used extent Spark Reporter for this purpose. Okay, uh, you have seen that, and we attached the Spark Reporter to this uh, extent report, and then we have flushed it finally. After attaching, we have flushed it. Okay, these are the two methods of the extent reports class. Okay, extent reports is a predefined class of the extent reports library. And this using the object reference, we have called first attach reporter to attach this Spark reporter to this extent reports. And after that, we have used another predefined method of this extent reports known as flush to actually generate the reports. Okay, whatever you have uh, done to the report, finally you have to flush to get the report generated. Okay, so that's the thing, guys. So two methods, flush and the attached reporter are there. And here I demonstrated how to generate a blank extent report. So uh, in upcoming sessions, uh, step by step, we'll uh, modify this report. We'll get more details, OK? Uh, we'll work in this extent reports in such a way that we'll get more report, more details of extent reports here, OK? Step by step, we'll go, guys, OK? Slowly, we'll go. No need to hurry up, OK? In the next step, in the next session itself, we are going to create the rest in the extent reports. and and we'll be showing their execution results in the report guys. okay so let's wait for that so that's all for this session guys in the next session i'm going to cover another topic on extent reports till then see you bye bye